in Arizona. Joining us on the program to talk about hidden cacti, get it, is Sean Dow, Campaign for Liberty's Director for Arizona. Sean, welcome back to the show. Hey, Jerry, good to be with you again, brother. Hey, good to have you on board. This this story is like everybody's like, here we go again. Uh, there's like 65,000 people and a whole bunch of comments and shares on this story about officials in Paradise Valley that apparently uh, have set up fake cactus and put in cameras that are license plate readers, correct? Correct. The uh, the really bad part about these things is the uh, way the town is going about putting them up. Secretively, they're trying. They're still trying to hide what these cameras actually do. Uh, this is a town with a history of nefarious activity with their cameras, uh, both with their photo radar cameras and their ALPR cameras, which these things look like they are, but we still really don't know everything that they're doing until the town opens up and, and lets everyone know. But once again, this town has violated open meeting laws. They're violating your constitutional rights with these ALPR cameras. Because essentially what they're doing is they're, they're doing background checks on every single person who passes in front of these cameras, and they have no probable cause to do this. And um, Fox 10 out there uh, asked the Paradise Valley Police about the cameras, uh, but the cops said they're not prepared to make a statement at this time. Uh, people in City Hall hesitant to talk with the news about the cameras, saying they wanted to wait until all the cameras were installed, uh, but then eventually Kevin Burke, the town manager, uh, answered by saying the town is embarking on the installation of license plate readers, um, but didn't want to expand on what it is exactly they were for and what they were going to do with them. Right. Uh, well, I'll tell you what they're going to do with them is they're tracking everyone like cattle that comes through this town. This is a town that issues more tickets than it has residents every single month. Uh, this is a police department who, who doesn't oversee anything that happens with these cameras. Uh, it, these, they've shortened yellow light times. This town has more car accidents than every other town its size that doesn't use these cameras. Uh, it's just this town has really, really gotten very corrupt. And they say it's being done under the guise of public safety, which is kind of what the same lie we hear from the federal government when they don't want to tell us something that it's an issue of national security. So under the guise of public safety, they say, look, if the car is stolen or if the car license is the subject of an amber alert, that these license plate readers will immediately notify the authorities and then the police will be dispatched and, you know, blah, 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 blah. So I guess for the people who say, you know, if you're not doing anything wrong, what's there to worry about? That's one argument. But but the other side, I think by the silence of them, uh, the police department and the city officials and them just saying, well, look, they're not even active at this point. So I don't know why you guys are all, you know, uh, up in uh, up in arms about this, Uh, but they will be at some point. And outside of stolen vehicles and amber alerts, uh, there has to be something much more to this. Is this just more revenue farming like the red light cameras, like the speed cameras? Well, it, there's lots of different uses for these things. One of them is to uh, check and see if you have unpaid parking tickets or if you have paid your car insurance this month or if you owe child support or if you owe the court any money. Uh, any of these things, uh, maybe even back taxes. I mean, <laughs> there's all mm-hmm. kinds of things. And then what happens is if a person drives in front of one of these cameras, it does the background check, and then it sends a video alert to the local police officer saying, hey, here's John Smith. Uh, he has $35 in unpaid parking tickets. He just crossed this intersection. Go get him. Hmm. Uh, then, you know, there's the person of interest program part of this where they, without a warrant, can type in anybody's name and track them and get alerts like this. Wow, that's just right out of that TV show, right? Person of interest? It is. It is. Now, That's what they call the program is person of interest program. Wow. Now, the uh, the town manager, uh, Kevin Burke, said that uh, the reason they're putting these cameras in the fake cactus is not to be secretive, but there's just not enough light poles in the area to put them on. 
and uh, that they're trying to make these cameras aesthetically pleasing, which is all part of a $2 million police technology upgrade that the city council passed last year. Wouldn't you think that instead of going to the expense of, uh, of commissioning an artist and creating a fake cactus, that it would be a lot easier just to put up a light pole? you got to bring a crew out. they got to dig a hole in the ground. they got to put in some concrete. They put on a pole, put in a pole, and then they stick a camera on it. I would think that that would be a lot more cost-effective than some artsy-fartsy uh, fake cactus. Well, no, they are trying to hide it. They have these cactus being installed at every single entrance into the town as well as having these cameras mounted onto mobile vehicles and police vehicles that they can move all around. Uh, They really are just tracking every single person who enters that town, and they're doing background searches on them. And more often than not with these types of programs, they get more false hits than they do positive hits. Uh, Paradise Valley is already using these programs. Uh, They've already pulled somebody over whose car said it was stolen, and it was not. So they've already falsely detained people. And this Mm -hmm. is what we see all across the country as they start to use these programs, is they end up with more false arrests than they do positive arrests. And, and, And Go ahead. No, I know that you you guys at Campaign for Liberty have been very effective in getting rid of these red light cameras and these speed cameras all across the country, and you've saved, you know, was it $800 million or something or more uh, for people because of this guilty until proven innocent uh, and the details about, as you pointed out, shortening up the yellow light times, the increase in the number of accidents at these intersections that goes against what it is they say is the guise of public safety. Um, is this something where... Again, there's some contract that's awarded to some company that has some connection to some politician and all being done under the guise of public safety? Usually that's the case, but until the town opens up the documents, we really don't know for sure. We don't know how far this program goes. I mean, it could go all the way through to uh, facial recognition software uh, under the JLens program. So. Until we see these documents, we really don't know what they uh, do, and then they're hiding these things because they don't want the public to know. Well, I know that you guys are getting the word out, and uh, is there anybody else in the local media? I know Fox 10 was on this, but, uh, you know, it's like here today, gone tomorrow kind of a mentality. Uh, are there any? Is there anybody else that's helping you guys just kind of get the word out on this so that we don't see this become you know, standard operating procedure that this person of interest program gets its hooks into Paradise Valley, then it's Scottsdale, then it's Phoenix, then it's Tucson, then it's L.A., then it spreads across the country? Well, unfortunately, it's too late. It's already installed in over 400 cities across America. Uh, The good news is that uh, it was installed in over 600 cities, and and over 200 cities have already ripped them out due to the people getting mad and taking it out on on their elected officials by either removing them from office or calling and yelling and screaming at them to the point where they finally adhere to what our American ideals are. Not this Gestapo track everybody everywhere all the time mentality that we're seeing all over the country. I feel like I've been sleeping under a rock because I thought this was something that was uh, the latest and greatest with regard to, you know, data mining and data crunching and metadata analysis, but uh, it, how long has this been going on that it was in 600 cities now down to 400? Uh, this has been 10 years. Uh, this is a 10-year battle that we've been fighting. Uh, we're on. We're, we're starting to pick up steam. We just had uh, the, the can- these ALPR cameras ripped out of Arlington, Texas on Saturday, along with the mayor losing his position over it. Nice. Well, at least you're getting some results on this. Um, is there uh, a trend line here that, um, you know, what we're seeing, the same thing with the red light cameras, that, you know, it was kind of done quietly, it was kind of done secretly. You guys have been pushing back against that. Is this now um, something that's going to start to get traction, and how can people make sure that that 600 that went to 400 goes to 200 and goes to zero? Well, they can go to campaignforliberty.org and sign up for all of our uh, information and news alerts and uh, get involved with helping to take out these things. And Because every single red light camera has ALPR. This is what they're really there for, is to generate revenue and to do background searches on every single person who, who goes in front of one of them cameras. 
And, and I guess uh, the, the trend is for them to be coming down. The photo radar companies and these ALPR companies are losing money hand over fist. The executives at these companies are, are under indictment now. The top three executives uh, at uh, Red Flex, the largest purveyor of this uh, type of camera, uh, are now under 18 counts of indictment for bribery and fraud and conspiracy. Uh, so, yeah, the trend is that these cameras are coming down, and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a really good fight for everyone to get in on. And if I forget the number here, which I am, what have you guys at Campaign for Liberty saved people across the country in getting rid of these red light cameras? Uh, it's well over $1 billion in canceled contracts in just the last few years. Nice. Good job. So there there are some people out there that are getting some things done that aren't uh, getting the kind of attention that they should. But uh, I know that this is something that you guys and gals uh, there grind out every day. And, and in addition to being effective, uh, I like the fact that you're having fun with this. There must be some people that are a little ticked off that you're uh, you're taking a little do-re-mi out of uh, the city coffers and people's pockets. Well, any time I'm making uh, the big bloated government overreaching constitutional killing people angry, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Dow, thanks for joining us on the program. Check out the website, campaignforliberty.org. Get on board with this group that has been successful in canceling over a billion dollars worth of revenue farming and the latest in the attempts to expand the... Uh, automatic license plate reader program the person of interest program where they're hiding cameras in cactus because they couldn't find a pole to stick it on i'll leave it at that before i get in trouble sean dow thanks for joining us on the program keep doing the great work you're doing once again folks campaign for liberty dot org thank you sir talk soon thank you Jerry. bye-bye quick break stick with us right back the Jerry.